Hi, welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophie, your pilot into the universe of Chinese. We're going to continue our special edition in the month of July. One single Chinese character a day. We came across many grand, abstract, multi-talented uh, characters in the past few days. And today is a very concrete one in relative. Uh, of course, in contemporary Chinese uh, English, it can be translated into different things in different domains, but it's at the core, the base level of the meaning, they share the same source, which is what I'm explaining to you today. So this is contemporary Chinese. Hu is how it's pronounced, and um, essentially it means wither. And it made up of this tree symbol on the left side and the ancient symbol on the right. You can see separately, they are themselves, uh, their own, um, so how do you say it? Like they can stand alone on their own. So this is a tree. Uh, we talked about a tree a few episodes ago. So this is the can canopy of the tree and this is a root of the tree. And the whole thing is tall standing tree. And right side is ancient. Okay, ancient is an interesting concept because ancient is made up of two characters. I didn't further break down, but now I can just talk you through it. This cross nothing to do with crossification. It's ancient roping record keeping methodology of a rope. And then we tie a knot over there, but the knot is hard to see, right? So we use an indicator to intersect this horizontal line with this rope means there we go. There is a knot right there. And knot means number 10 in rope keeping, record keeping uh, back then. So there's 10. This cross thing is Chinese number 10 pronounced as shi. Okay, this shi pronounced as shu. And then we have a mouth symbol at the bottom. Uh, hou is how it's said. That means the mouse. And it's just visually look like a mouse. It's a box with a tilted corner, like a smiley face. Um, so mouse, not only it can represent a human because human has the function to, to speak. Um, and then it can also represent speaking in particular. Um, so speaking can then extend it into like a word of mouth, right? And then 10 generations of word of mouth. I guess eventually in Song Dynasty, which is about a thousand years ago from now, um, that's when the printing technology was invented in China. Before then, it's all world of mouth, word of mouth, majority of word of mouth, right? And then record keeping would be somebody spent a ton of time to copy something down, right? Before the printing press. So knowledge was not as widely available to the public, um, was more word of mouth. And 10 generations of word of mouth means um, it's old saying, it's uh, time honored wisdom because if some idea can be passed down through 10 generations, 10 mouths, word of mouth, that means this idea probably proven true. And this is time honoring this concept. And this is what we regard, regard as ancient, ancient wisdom, basically. Trust generational information passing. So that's ancient, pronounced the whole thing, pronounced as gu. You can see this gu act as a sound maker as well because now it's a ku, it sounds, it share the same, um, this vowel sound, uh, except the tonation change. A gu is a third, third tone. And now ku is flat tone. But ancient shi is a definition of Chinese to say something, this tree have gone through a long time and they are more likely to wither. Uh, so kind of an end of their life cycle thing. So that's what we use to express withering or withered. And interestingly, <laughs> you can see this, this concept can be used um, to mean something else, means uninteresting. Okay, so withered, we pair with gan ku, gan means dry. You can see here too. Or ku wei. Wei is a shrinking in size as well. <laughs> okay, so uh, ku wei or gan ku or ku gao, they are all pairing with different 
characters not centered around with withering concept. Now, when it paired with zao, ku zao zao means dry, like uh, mm, almost a fire, because this is the fire, fire inducing level of dry. And ku zao means it's super dry. There's no, no juice. So it's a super dull. There's no interesting uh, things going on. So that converted to uh, dull. And uninteresting is the same, like fu zao, gan zao. So dull and uninteresting, they are the same, but it can be translated different ways. Um, probably a little bit of a nuance over there in, in terms of English, but Chinese, we don't distinguish this variations of degrees of how dull it is. Um, just ku zao, same. And then gan, gan ku and a ku he. Ku he, he means even the last drop of water or humidity was extracted. That's super dry. So it translates as a bone dry. I agree. Okay, so wither simply means old tree. And we use this old tree symbol to mean withering. And it can be um, converted or transferred to mean it's dry. It's not fun. It's not juicy. It's dull. It's not interesting. All that can be in extended from this old tree image. All right. Catching to the currency of thinking about one word a day with Sophie. See you next